Today is such a beautiful sunny day. And barely a cloud in the sky. Just a little one right there. Hey everyone, Asha here from Pandemonium. We only have a couple days left at the house because we're going to be heading northeast. I'll talk more about that later. But today what I'm going to be doing is installing the water pump that I've had probably for six months now. Yes, I know. <laughs> but I bought this when I was in Arizona at Parker, I believe. Yes, it's definitely past due, but I just haven't found the time or the want to install this. <laughs> yes, I've been a little lazy, but I'm going to go ahead and install it today. Like I said, this will be an easy install. I stated this in a previous video because there's only four screws that hold it on and also two wires and then the plumbing, which is the inlet and the outlet. Here's the brand new one. I will show you the old one. Hopefully this one lasts. Please last. <laughs> this is actually the third one. Well, sorry, the second one I've installed. This is the third one that the RV has had. The very first one I had to replace shortly after I got the RV, about two months. I guess it was wore out. And then the last one, it lasted me four years. So, I guess that's pretty good. I don't know what they're rated for on how long they last. I thought they would last about like 10 years at least, but we did go through some cold weather and I believe that is what made the pump break because it literally split here. Um, I believe these bolts broke off and it just came apart. So that's what's going on with that. Like I said, I will show you the older one. <sighs> I'm excited to get this in. It's nice to have running water. I definitely want running water. Moo Moo, we want running water, don't we? Okay. Are you lazy? Running water's nice, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. <laughs> I'm definitely excited to get this installed. Let's get to it. I've removed the drawers. My pump is located behind the drawers and there is the old water pump. I have my trusty light on. And as you can see, the pump has come apart right there at the seam. And I just noticed that too. Here are the bolts laying right here. I guess they just broke off. Hmm. Before I start messing with the electric, I do want to remove the fuse. There is a chart here. And it says water pump is number one. It's 15 amp, which is this one right here. So I'm just going to pull that out. That's easy enough. Let's make sure. Yep, no pump. Now that that's done, I can go ahead and disconnect the wires. So I've already disconnected the wires and normally I take a picture of how the wires went, but since I'm videoing, I can always just go back and review my video. But it was white to black and red to red. I've drained everything out, but since I'm dealing with water and I know there's probably still some water left in the pipes, I put a towel down just in case. I removed both pipes and fortunately didn't have to deal with any water. Just a little drip from the pump, but better to be safe than sorry. Now I just have to remove the four bolts and I can take the old pump off. Alright, and here is uh, the old pump. Like I said, it is fairly simple. Easy peasy. Um, this is, see, there were no bolts holding it on. The bolts had broken off. So I'm not sure if these are stripped out. I'm sure I could have probably just replaced the bolts in this, but I'm not sure if I wanted to do that. I mean, the pump is still four years old, so I just went ahead and bought a new one. See? Yeah. This is how it comes apart, and those are the internal... It looks clean. I mean, it's just the bolts that had popped off there. Yeah, I don't think I would have wanted to deal with that, so I'm glad I bought a new one. The only thing I, that's left is I installed one of these filters, inline filters, just for sediment. So I need to take this off, clean it, and then reinstall it onto the new pump. Ugh, dirty hands. 
I have dirty hands all the time. I'm always working on something. Oh, well. I know people will say, oh, my God, wash your hands. It happens. I work on things all the time and projects, so hands get dirty. But that's how easy that was to take off. This right here just screws off. It's fairly easy. It doesn't even look dirty, but I'm still going to clean it anyways. Just run it under some water. Spray some vinegar in there. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. That They are stripped. Yeah, they should have had a little longer screws or yeah. something. I think what happened is it pulled it out right. and it stripped it. Yeah. I have the plumber's tape on all ends and I've put the filter back on. So the only thing I have to do is reinstall the pump. The new pump did not come with mounting screws, so I'm going to use the existing ones. They're still in good shape, no rust, and they look clean. So, yeah, just going to reuse. Now it's time to reinstall the 15 amp fuse, turn on the pump, and make sure there are no leaks. It's definitely at a weird angle. There we go. Fingers crossed. Oh wow, that is much quieter. Oop, let me cut off the faucet. Let it pressurize. It's been on for a minute now, and the lines have pressurized. The pump was super quiet. I will say I bought this from an RV shop and the other one I ordered online. So that could be a reason why that one was louder. It was remanufactured. This one is super quiet. But I think I did buy the a more expensive one, the quieter one. So I'm just checking to see if I hear it cut back on with no water cut on. That's usually a telltale sign that you have a leak somewhere. But... I'm not getting anything. It's not coming back on, so it's staying pressurized. I'll give it probably another 30 minutes and see if I hear any noises. It's been about 15 minutes. Yes, I'm a little impatient. I know I said 30, but the pump has not come back on. And yes, the water is on. Wow, that pump is so quiet. It's awesome. And I do keep a... a a water basin in my sink just to collect water sink and then I can dump it out on a bush that just is less that goes into my gray tank that way I don't have to dump it as much or as often I'm just glad to have running water and the project went really smoothly and it was pretty easy I'm not sure why I waited so long I was just being lazy it's been like five six months but I made it work without running water. When I wash dishes, I usually just fill that basin up, wash the dishes, and then dump that out and rinse them off. Um, as far as shower or bathing goes, I just filled a, a water basin. I have another one, and I filled it with baking soda and um, vinegar, and then did a sponge bath. And then I would have to take showers somewhere else like public showers instead of using mine it's going to be good to have my own shower running again that will be lovely <laughs> so my family's house that i'm cleaning up after the tenants were here i had thought to take a shower here but scotty just fixed the pipe this um, valve was leaking and he got that one fixed not to mention the old tenants were not very tidy and there is it's just gross that's yeah, I wouldn't want to take a shower there. <laughs> I would definitely have to clean that up first. At the bottom of the hose right there, it was wet on the fitting, but I was unsure if that came from the water, the old water pump since it was dripping. So I let it dry out. I'm going to cut the pump on and make sure it's not leaking from that area. And then I can put the drawers back in. It is such a beautiful day today, and I spent half of it in the rig fixing the water pump. So I'm going to go take Mumu for a short stroll around the neighborhood just to get out. It's just lovely. Just today. lovely and sunny. You ready to go for a walkie-poo, Mumu? Walkie-poo? You know what a walkie-poo is? Yes? 
<laughs> I let everything dry out and I just cut the pump back on and check this hose here. And I don't see any water at all, which is good. Eventually, I do want to replace this flexi hose because I've it's been in here since I've owned the RV. It just looks a little old. So I am going to eventually replace this, but that will be at a later time. And it's pretty inexpensive at Home Depot, like 8 or $10. I still do need to clean up my mess, put the drawers back, clean up these tools. But I'll do that when I get back from my walk. Oh, no, this is artificial.